What's up guys, this is Gunscorch here with part 7 of my vehicle making tutorial. Uh, in the last video, uh, we textured the spring and made it chrome on the suspension left front. Um, I know I said that everything was going to be textured in this one, but at the end of the last video, I said that we were going to focus on the wheels because we didn't have enough time to go through UV mapping. <coughs> um, so we're going to go through UV mapping on this one. Uh, we're going to focus just on the left front. So if we go Polygon, Select, Detach, Select, Separated, and also for Texturing. So we are not going to use Detach on this one. Select, 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 and then back of it to Select, so we'll select the back of, it, of each of these. Actually, we're not using any other views, so we'll make that full screen a little easier to use. Now, from here, actually, we might want we might want the nuts of these to be chrome as well. So we'll select the nuts. Make the bolts chrome too. Alright, so now this stuff. Alright, so the rim and the bolts will be chrome. Uh, so we just have to go tire chrome. So anything that has to do with the tires has to be adapted to vehicle tire. So it has to be uh, whatever this thing is. GTA, vehicle generic, vehicle tire, has to be, otherwise it will be invisible, like if you put this chrome on it, um, and for here we can actually just, uh, click on this again, just to kind of refresh this, and then if we put this on here, Yes, everything will be chrome, but it'll be invisible in-game because it's attached to the tire. If we use the tire chrome, everything's still chrome, but now it'll show up as chrome in GTA. Um, so, the way vehicle tire editing works is... Okay. Um, I accidentally clicked on that one. <coughs> oh god, I'm not selecting all of that. Um, so actually, my, see how mine has actual tread? Like actual polygon tread? Um, tread of this, if we look at this and zoom in to the tread that's given here, um, three inner ones with kind of a choppy outside, uh, might possibly work with this, uh, it'd be better if this was rotated, or if that was rotated, ha uh -huh. um, yeah, that might work. Actually, that pattern kind of looks a little bit similar. I don't know, maybe. That pattern, maybe. This has got the three inner ones, so possibly the three inner black. Um, I don't know. But, yeah, we're, we're, we're gonna... So, we're, we're gonna deselect that. And actually, we're going to see if we can select that. Uh, maybe, I don't know. Um, okay, so this will be the tire wall, actually. So, yeah, this, this will be good. Actually, we need that over here. Uh, this will be tires. And then, see how it's 
horribly UV mapped. Uh, go surface. We can close out of this now. Uh, edit UV. And for this part, we actually want to be in either the right or the left. I'm going to be in the left since it's the left tire. This way, we're looking at the outside of the tire. Uh, make sure that's checked. And then uh, generate new mapping. I uncheck both of those. I uncheck that from viewport XY. Force on two tires. Hit OK. Then it's going to examine and create mapping. And then from here, we go to our UV mapper. Here we go materials, tires, and then there is whatever we selected is on here. Uh, we do have to switch back into object mode and then move. But we can then move that over here and moving moving the, uh, the dummy helper node over here doesn't move it on here because on here as soon as you open the program that's dead center um, so moving it over here so like if you zoom in quite a ways to make it as accurate as possible right there is where the grid stops we'll make it as close to center as possible then we can go scale Actually, we can go move. Get that kind of even overlay over there and even overlay up and down. And then, reselect everything and then scale down. And actually, where's the outside of the tire? Outside of the tire is over there. So now, this tire, you can kind of see it. Says atomic, and the outside of the tire is pretty much textured now. Um, ooh, and actually, if we want all of this outside stuff, rather than going through and selecting every single one of those and those and those and those and those and those, we can actually go back into polygon mode and to clear out the material list over here, just switch it out and switch it back to UV Mapper, and then the material list will be empty. Um, we can actually view this over here, and there's nothing inside here, so we can actually go select, circle, go kind of in the middle, right click, hold it, match it up on the bottom, match it up on the sides, do that, and that will select everything except for this outside stuff, and then we just go invert, right click, and now only the outside stuff is selected. So, that is how you can do that. And then, from here, you're actually going to want to detach this. Um, I accidentally inverted again. It's got one what happened. Um, so here we have just the outside tread. And this actually gets split up into eight parts. So, if we cut it this way, and this way, that'd be four, so we have to cut it diagonally as well. So, left polygon, click. So we go about like that. Detach. Get rid of that side. Polygon there. And then about half of that. Detach that. Go to the top half. Polygon select. Oops. If I actually click on it. And then about half of that. And then detach. So then this. This will be UV mapped from back, I believe. Yes. So that'll be from the back. And then we just go select the UV, this, and for stairs, generate new from export Y, get that, and then that shows up in here, and we will resume this in part 8, which will be part 2 of texturing of UV mapping. See ya.